What's up dudes, today I'm playing versus one of you guys actually, well versus one of my subscribers and we decided to not use our main decks and just grab one of the pre-made decks in Pokemon TCG Live so I'm playing a Gardevoir EX and my opponent is playing a Coridon EX deck and none of us have played this before, we kind of have no idea what we're getting into and as you can see my hand is not necessarily very good and I have to take a mulligan for the second time, so that doesn't bode well for the game. And okay, I can start with a route, so let's get to it. Let's see what my opponent starts with. I'm narrating this after the game because we were just chatting while playing the game and talking a bunch of shit to each other. <laughs> so it was definitely a very fun game. I'm playing a level ball, and what, what am I going to get? Probably Drift Bloom. Yeah, there we go. I'm playing the Drift Bloom from the level ball, that's fine, fair enough. You know, it's not a crazy start. I'm definitely missing a lot of the uh immediate say drawing power off the deck but this is what it is playing a psychic energy card down to my roads playing the band wondering what am i gonna play the band on yeah on the roads for some reason but i guess i just wanted to see it i've never played this card before so it is what it is and passing the turn to my opponent my opponent's got a regieleki i never know how to pronounce this pokemon regieleki let's let's leave it at that regieleki on the active spot and a Marip on the bench. Let's see what he comes up with. Playing a Electro Energy onto the active Pokemon, playing a second Marip, and just using a Static Shock. See, this is the peak Pokemon gameplay. You just deal 20 damage to each other and pass turns. <laughs> okay, I'm evolving my Drift Bloom and my Routes. So let's see how that one keeps going. I think I'm going to use Refinement and get rid of that Roxian, right? Yeah, there we go. So I'm good drawing two more cards. I got two more energy cards. That's good. Placing down my second sidekick using Professor's Research, drawing a whole new seven, seven uh, cards. Playing a Fog Crystal. What am I going to get with a Fog Crystal? Just a, another Browse for some reason. Not sure why I did that, but there it is. Am I going to play the... Yeah, I'm going to play the Nest Ball for another Drift Bloom. And see where that goes. It really gets me nowhere. I guess I'm just playing cards because I can. Okay, I'm putting down an old cemetery stadium, which deals 20 damage every time somebody plays a an energy that is not a psychic energy or it's not a psychic Pokemon. I can't remember which one is it, but it's an okay-ish starting stadium. It also came with my pre-made new V Max deck. So okay, my opponent's evolving his Marip, so he's got his uh, energy engine down on and locked in okay my cemetery did 20 damage to his Regieleki and he's also playing a professor's research drawing a whole new seven cards hand playing another fluffy to evolve his his Marip he played down a beach court don't know if you guys see that okay so I'm, I'm, I'm actually throwing it on the screen he's using an ultra ball see what he comes up with he got rid of the other fluffy doesn't really need that at this point he's got a very good Okay, he's fetched himself a um, Miraidon, Miraidon EX, the electric one, Miraidon EX, yeah. Sorry guys if I'm mispronouncing things, but I have a little bit of dyslexia, so it is what it is. Miraidon EX, I'm trying to read this card, because uh, I, I couldn't remember what it was doing, and so he's currently using the uh, ability, trying to get himself more Pokemon on the bench, so his bench is full. He got a second Regieleki, which is a different sort of Regieleki, a different card, with different abilities. And he's just using his Fluffies because that's what the deck does. It just kind of dumps its energies onto the discard pile and then it brings it back with Fluffies, which is kind of cool. But luckily, you know, I, I still kind of managed to do damage to him and, it, you know, I can probably get rid of that Reggie very quickly. Am I using... Am I, am I going... Okay, so I evolved my Kirlia into a Galade or Galade and I'm using Body catch is it body catch the, the ability that and anyway you kind of get to search for a supporter from your deck and it's a very cool ability so i got myself another professor's research because i kind of feel like i should be digging a lot more and i'm thinking should i be using the rope i so i ended up using the rope probably a good idea but i'm not sure you know in hindsight so he places the coride uh, miraidon rather i uh, place the routes down okay and i found a gardevoir which is kind of like, okay, now I have Ralts on, on the active spot. It's probably not going to last very long. So am I going to even be able to make it? I'm using a Palpad, putting down, uh, placing my Professor Reach Research back onto the deck. Trying to evolve, I think. No, I'm retreating for the Galade. Because of that Beach Court, I could retreat for free. So that was good. Revolving my Kirlia. And playing a Level Ball, which 
I don't know if I'm gonna get anything with the level ball. I think I'm. I wonder. I, I don't remember what I did there, but okay. So I got another Kilia. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but I did. I guess just to thin out my deck. And am I gonna? Am I going to use refinement? I am going to use refine. Probably pitch that Kilia. Yeah, there we go. So I'm pitching that Kilia, drawing two more cards. So I got two bosses orders on the hand and two energies. I'm thinking about that Gardevoir, when can I play it or how does it even work? So this is the kind of the engine of the deck that brings you your energy cards back, but uh, I I figured it out in, like midway through the game, the, how, how the deck is supposed to be playing. And it was a bit too late to kind of readjust my strategy, so I went with just, okay, let's just do damage to him and let's see how, how, you know, how far away can I go. So I did 160 damage to his Miraidon, so that's pretty decent, okay-ish for this situation, see how, you know, how he can respond to this. I think he's thinking at this point, kind of trying to understand, you know, the situation, see what he does. Honestly, I feel like this Gardevoir EX can be so good, you just gotta improve it by a little bit and it could be so good. And honestly, I think I saw it in like the top tier decks that some people play with Gardevoir EX in, in Pokemon Standard meta. So it's definitely up there. Hmm. So we have some sort of switcheroo going on. Okay, my turn again. Am I going to use the Gardevoir finally? So I got the rare candy, it's no use to me. I should use refinement, pitch that rare candy before I evolve the. Oh, I wanted to uh, retreat my Kirlia for one, but then I, you know, I read up on Beach Court and it actually applies only to basic Pokemon. I was like, whoa, really? I didn't read. <laughs> I didn't remember that. I thought it was okay. All I could think about is one less, one less, one less, but it is what it is. Yeah, so I ended up not using the draw, which is, you know, now, now that I think about it, that's a misplay. I should have first used refinement from Kirlia, pitched that rare candy, draw two cards, and then evolve it, but it is what it is. So I'm using uh, I'm using Galade's ability, getting myself an Arwen. Not sure. What am I going to do? I was trying to see what's even in this deck when it comes to like the uh, items and such. I was hoping for a switch, but apparently there was no switch. So I ended up just taking the Vitality Band and the Nest Ball. Probably going to attach that Vitality Band. Mm, yeah, okay, I'm using Psychic Embrace from the Gardevoir, trying to get an energy up, so I can hit on this turn, destroy his active Pokemon, get my first prize card, see where that gets us. Uh, am I playing the Vitality Band? Oh, I wanted to play the Vitality Band on Galati, but I forgot he actually has a tool attached already, so that doesn't work. And I'm playing the Nest Ball to keep thinning out my deck and find something that's actually going to help me win at this point so i'm knocking out his reggie and that's one prize card so that's something i mean not crazy but it is what it is and honestly playing these mostly one prize card decks is a whole different dynamic than it was in sword and shield that everybody was just playing v's and v maxes all the time and you just kind of had deck that like games that lasted five minutes because you just win so quickly or lose so quickly now is a kind of interesting dynamic that there's so many different decks with basic Pokemon. Okay, so he places down his Miraidon. I guess he's trying to sacrifice it so he can set up set up kills with Regis and Fluffies instead, which is an okay situ strategy because Miraidon is only gonna get me two more card, two more prize cards if anything, and you know I'll still be down, still be up free. And he got his you know professor's research down again, so he's got a fresh new hand. Okay, play the level ball, got a Mareep, place that Mareep again. So we got three Mareeps at, you know, on this point. Actually, two of them are already fluffy, so that's a lot of energies he can potentially just kind of dish out. Okay, and there we go, Reggie back on the active spot. Because of that beach court, he could just remove that tank and start attacking me. And see, what Reggie does is he, he just kind of attacks your bench, which is quite dangerous when you're playing with these small Pokemon because just two attacks from these from these Regis can kind of knock out most of my smaller guys and that's not a good situation so I'm playing bosses or just trying to knock his uh, Miraidon out so that I can get my prize cards as soon as possible not allow him to kind of go overboard with this and there we go I'm just attacking destroying the Miraidon and getting two cards so this, this is peak Pokemon gameplay. You're playing two decks that you don't even know and <laughs> trying to make things happen. 
it's it's very 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 interesting dynamic okay so he put down a marie i guess at this point just to kind of maybe sacrifice him a little bit to buy himself some time and it's only one prize pokemon and this is what you can do a lot when you have these little prize uh, like low price Pokemon in the deck that you can just kind of buy yourself time this way like one price card is most of the time not going to change the you know the world or you, you can easily you know make that sacrifice and see he's just empowering his his uh, other Pokemon with using these fluffies and I now that I think about it I should probably have gone for for trying to destroy these fluffies because this is his basically the engine of the deck like he just keeps coming up with so many energies and there's no way for me to stop it and when you know when i'm only taking one prize card at a time he has plenty of time to keep stacking energies and just keep knocking out my things which he could do but uh yeah let's watch the game to, till the end like see what happens so he did knock out one of my bench pokemon which was a driftloom and he's down to five prize cards at this point i drew an arezu i don't think that's gonna be any use of as of right now uh, I ended up retreating the Gardevoir for Galadi, okay. And I'm placing manually the card, uh, Psychic Energy from my hand. Using Psychic Embrace right now, placing two more energies down on my Drift Blimps. These Drift Blimps for free Psychic Energies, they place eight damage counters however you want on your opponent's Pokemon, so that's awesome. I mean, eight, it's not a lot, but for these little guys, you can take care of them when they're on the bench, like those little engine guys. But I played the boss's orders. On his Reggie that has plenty of uh, energy cards attached just so I can destroy it and make him, you know, kind of quote unquote waste the abilities on the next turn as well. And I have to move an energy card to my Drift Blim, get myself a prize card. I'm dying to two prize cards, so it's looking pretty good for me at this point. That's a level ball, it's not gonna help much probably at this point. If anything, I'm already at the end of my, say, dynamic or the engine of the deck. Like, I'm, I, it's either I'm winning. Or there's like, you know, like winning right now, or if he gets some answer, there's no way I can come back from it. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so it's his turn. He plays down an energy card onto his Reggie that's on the bench. And I think he misplayed here. Yeah, he told me he was so angry that he misplayed because he was actually, he actually wanted to, pl to place that energy card on his active Reggie so he can retreat it. But it is what it is. And that, that he misplayed it big time. And I think this is this is where he realized he's like, shoot, you know. <laughs> and in if it was a webcam game where we would be playing just cards, I would be like, just 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 play however you wanted to play it. But when you make a mistake in the online game in online Pokemon cards, um, you you can't take it back. So that's unfortunate. So he has to work with what he did. And that happens. I misplay like that, you know, sometimes as well. And I'm pissed off at myself going like, oh my God, I was so dumb. I should have thought about it a little bit longer, but it is what it is. He Ultra Ball himself, the last evolution of uh, Marib, which I forgot the name, but I don't think he's going to play it. I don't think it's going to be very useful for him at this point. You know, I, he probably would have won if he could retreat that Reggie, but <laughs> it is what it is. So I got an Arvin, that's not gonna be any use of me for me, sorry. I'm just playing my third energy card onto the Galadi and playing a level ball, like actually, just to kind of see what's in my deck. And there were no valid cards for me to put, but you know, I got, I got a good look at the deck and kind of saw what else I can expect from it, which was really nothing. So what you see right here is as far as I can take this deck at this point. This is a pre-made deck mind you. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking, Arezo is useless at this point, Arvin is useless at this point, Professor's research is not going to help me a lot, so I kind of have to work with what I have and just playing cards for the sake of playing. And I think I just decide to... to uh, no, I'm using the body catch ability. Probably taking... What am I going to take? Professor's research, but don't know why. Just kind of did that. And just attacking with Swirling Slice, right? Or am I going to use Psychic Embrace? No, because I had no valid cards in my graveyard. Okay, that's fine. And his Reggie is knocked out. I'm down to one last prize card. And I mean, at this point, it was kind of over for him, right? I mean, I could move that energy to Gardevoir and just kind of attach another one and win the game. 
No, but I didn't. Okay, so I moved it to Driftbloom. And I think he gives up at this point. Which is unfortunate. That one misplay kind of cost him potentially the game, really, because he would have knocked my guys out a lot easier. And then I would have been shut down, because my engine is gone. And I think it, it's here that he's realizing it. No, he, he still plays the Reggie. I don't know if he's, he's going to allow me to, to still knock him out and take the game. Or is he going to concede? But it was a great game nonetheless. Like exploring new decks is is fantastic. It's part of what what's most say interesting about playing the online version of Pokemon cards. He's still playing an Ultra Ball, trying to make things happen, but I'm not sure he can. I mean, I'm so far ahead. Yeah, there we go. He decides to give up. Anyway, good game though. I'm very happy that you sent me the request. So if you guys want to send me a request and play with me, just go ahead, just, just leave it in the comments or email me and let's have some fun, right? I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.